This question is a little suspect, but I'm going to answer it anyway, because my response is not just for one person. My response is for everyone that is called and ordained to hear it. So to answer the question, I am black and I am Latina. I am not Indian because I am not from India. I am not Spanish because I am not from Spain, although I speak the Spanish language because of colonization. I consider myself an Afro-Latina of Dominican descent. However, I deliberately choose to identify as Afro-Dominican. Why do I make that choice? I make that choice because I understand that I come from a history of a people that have deep-rooted issues with their black identity. I deliberately make the choice to call myself Afro-Dominican because I understand that the Dominican nation historically has not embraced their blackness. They have issues with their blackness. Blackness has been marginalized. It has been hated. It has been demonized. It has been disadvantaged. Because I recognize all of these things, I make a deliberate choice to identify as Afro-Dominican. I choose to celebrate, to highlight, to uplift that which has been hated, that which has been bought low. I choose to celebrate that part of myself. I choose to be Afrocentric versus Eurocentric. Not because I'm trying to deny that I have European blood or that I may even have indigenous blood. Those things are easy for Dominicans to accept. I choose to accept what has been hard for my people historically to accept because they have been taught through colonization, the evil of colonization, that blackness is something to be hated. If black Americans in this country being lighter than me, presenting more European features than me, can boldly stand up and say I'm black and I'm proud, even when they had the choice to be white passing, but yet still they chose to celebrate that which was hated, understanding they were hated for their blackness, how much more can't I? How much more can't you? And why not? And I know that's difficult for Dominicans to understand because their perceptions on race have been warped. So it's very difficult to understand. But because I know that in Dominican Republic, I would be considered white. I make a deliberate choice to say, no, I'm Afro-Dominican. And I don't want to hear anybody coming.